going on YouTube? Got a Miata video for you guys. Today, we will be test fitting my turbo and manifold setup. So let's get started. Hey, it's the day after my last video. We went riding on the track. Got my friends in town. They can help me. Uh, we're gonna start ripping the Miata part and uh, hopefully my turbo fits. And we'll see how much custom and cutting and clearing I gotta do on it. So uh, yeah, got the AC garage going. And uh, so I'll take this thing apart. Stay tuned. So these exhaust bolts are really on there. So I really recommend some sort of PV blaster or rust penetrating spray to get them loose. Because these are not gonna be easy to get off. So what I'm doing now is trying to remove the stock manifold. And uh, to do that, I gotta take apart, I think it's like maybe eight, 14 millimeter bolts. So I'm just trying to break them loose right now. Our long breaker bar also helps a lot. Highly recommend this. It's like $10 of Harbor Freight. Manifold's coming off. It's leaning on the bolt, so it makes it that much harder to take off. So you get save the easiest one for last. It's just that much easier. Uh, that's it. Nice. Good. There you go. Dope. Dope. So there, a gasket fall. Yeah, that's fine. Your gasket's ripped. That's why it's leaking. Oh shit! Yeah, and there's my. Uh, have one. There's my um. What's left of it? My uh, exhaust leak. Uh. This is all welcome out there. No, it's just the JV one or uh, PV blaster. Let's try it. Well, it's off. Oh, it's so much room in the engine bay. Alright, let's put the new one on. Okay, it's off. It's off. Uh, just, just get them started just to see if we can test fit everything. Yeah, no, that was my older test fitting. Uh, uh, okay, let it go, let it go, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah, yeah, it's still it. on. Uh, so basically. You're gonna have to notch out here and here. I mean, I, I did the same thing. I even left it open. Where's which it? Is it this? Both. Is it it's both, but this is close. Like, you gotta reroute this line here. I had to do that too. Might be able to bend it out of the way, but. You go pull it. Let's see this. I'm gonna turn my really quick. This, this is hitting too. Well, that's gonna go straight up. Oh. Yeah, it's you gotta cut this for sure. The question is that downpipe's not gonna clear. There's no way in hell. There's, oh, there's, there's no room in hell. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude. I didn't even see that. Yeah, there's no way that's gonna clear. So. Measure one's cut place? Yeah, you just kind of wing it. Yeah, that whole back part's gonna have to cut off. Yeah, this all needs to come yeah, off too. I cut mine all the way up to that. How is that even gonna fit? I'm gonna cut all that off. Where's the downplate bit? Over here. Where my hand is. There's no chance in hell. This tight.
All right, so as you can see, we're definitely getting some work done in the Miata right now. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, basically, I gotta cut a, a good amount of my engine bay away. And it's not too, oh wait, my screen's a little dirty. Hold on. All right, hopefully you guys can hear me. I just broke my microphone on my camera, so uh, I'm using the stock audio for the uh, Canon T4i camera. But uh, as you, yeah, you can see, we're working on the Miata, trying to get some good progress done on the turbo build. And uh, to have my to get my turbo to clear, um, we we're trying to clock it, but there's still a little bit of the sub, like the part of the subframe, um, kind of like a like the pinch weld kind of of the engine bay. I, I need to cut like maybe an inch, maybe a half an inch off, just like a small sliver. And then the back side where the downpipe is going to go down, we're going to need to cut a good amount off. And that kind of worries me because like the flange I have of the Skyline that I showed you guys in the last video is way too, the angle is just not right. So I am going to need to cut a good amount off um, the back side, which that kind of scares me because it's a little bit more structure, integrity kind of piece of metal. And um, the steering column runs right by it. So these are just part of things you run into turboing a car. I mean, like I said, this car is not meant to have a turbo kit on it. And I, don't, I didn't buy a turbo kit, I'm doing it myself. So these are just the custom things you gotta do and fabrication you gotta do when uh, building a car. So right now I'm heading to Harbor Freight, picking up some more cutting discs. And um, yeah, we're we'll back to start cutting some more metal. So uh, stay tuned. And I'll tell you what, using all these Harbor Freight tools, I feel like Haggard Garage, which I don't want to be because they do shit all half-ass. But I mean, you can't beat a whole pack of uh, cutting wheels for $7. God damn, that's pretty cheap. So hopefully they last long enough to cut some metal away and uh, hopefully get this turbo mounted. So let's go back to cutting. Well, I don't have to get much done today because I broke my angle grinder. Harbor Freight, am I right? Exactly. Harbor Freight. Snap on tools, the way to go. Represent. Yeah, snap on tools, fixing Harbor Freight tools. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Authorized snap on wrecker. <laughs> At your service. How's that bar stool? Look at this bar stool. Sell me quality on it. bar stool. Sell me on it. Look at this. It has a quality built frame, four legs. There's no tip in here, people. Nice and sturdy. I'm about a buck eighty-five. Look at this thing. Doesn't even want to fucking move. Okay, it's hold one-handed. On. Anything you fucking want. I'm here for you. <laughs> Holding the floor down, aren't you? Yeah. I really hope we can get this fixed. No, there's room for activities. Yeah, damn. Oh. Great tools. Did this yeah, this turned into a Miata build to a Harbor Freight tool repair video. <laughs> Casting on this thing is made out of plastic. Oh yeah. Wait. So this is what it's supposed to look like. Okay. That's where <laughs> it looks like now where it's supposed to be, but it's right there. <laughs> oh yeah. That's OEM for you. That's Harbor oh, Freight there. It's Chinese engineering. And you're broken this, so, so I mean, we're gonna. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's fucked, huh? I mean, I can put it together at the same price it came in. Professional tool? Professional tool? Oh, it's still cut, though. That's the question. Uh, and do we I'm trust the cutting? I'm risk, risk it. Uh, I don't give a shit. How to lose your eye in three easy steps. <laughs> Cut wash measure twice. <laughs> That's not worn. You know, structure. Still got the warranty on this thing? <laughs> oh yeah, it's clean. Okay. That'll, that'll work. Take the edges off. Oh. That'll, that'll work. Let me grind it. Okay. That'll work. Don't flex that way. Harbor Freight grinder still going good. I don't know what I'm doing. I, mean, I built a goddamn roof rack for my goddamn truck. Here's some spray paint on a rust.
Okay, update. Ah, oh, fuck my light. Oh, that one sparked shit. Turbo fits. It cut nicely. Very, very nicely. Waste gates mounted. Should work. There's not much room in the back though. <laughs> Yeah, that fit pretty nicely right there. I cut out. Can't even tell I cut it. All right, turbo's in. Let's start it up. All right, so hopefully you guys, like I said, hopefully you guys can hear me because my mic's broken, so I'm using the stock mic. But uh, basically, we got the side of the first cut of the engine bay. We had a cut, we got a cut out, and uh, the Harbor Freight die grinder came through, and it worked. Very sketchy. So I do not trust Harbor Freight tools. So, um, turbo's mounted, turbo's in the car. So, uh, the turbo clears, it should be good now. I should be able to use the Skyline turbo. Um, Nissan turbo, T3. Uh, it should work. Few problems that we're having right now is just that downpipe flange. Basically, I'm gonna bring them, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take my car to the exhaust shop once I'm done, and they're gonna do a full exhaust system on it. So I'm gonna bring them the downpipe right here with the flange I need, the six bolt flange. And basically, I'm gonna have them cut it, cut that flange off, and just fabricate it and do them themselves. To basically taper the way they have to do it, like taper it down so it works, and then do the complete exhaust all the way back, three-inch pipe all the way back. So the only thing I gotta do now is cut a little bit more on the back side. Basically, this is gonna get my light. I can't point, hold, shoot, and film. Um, I, this needs to be cut for sure. It's a little bit back here just so I can clear a pipe back here. But that's basically how the turbo is gonna mount right there. It's a it's a side mount manifold. So, and uh, it is a, the Bergi manifold, the B-E-G-I. B-E-G-I, I don't even know how to say it. Someone can correct me. But, um, and it's my wastegate's gonna mount right on top like that. It's not the prettiest setup. I wish uh, I could clock the turbo differently. That's probably how it's gonna work. And then basically, the intercooler piping will have to come up and turn right here. But the turbo's on, and uh, that's probably how she's gonna sit. Um, pretty happy about it. I went pretty smoothly. So far, so good. So I want to go to the Miata meet next week, but my car is already taken apart, and we'll see if I put it back together for the ride for the meet. But honestly, it might just stay off the road till I get uh, turboed. But at least this gives me a chance to work on it, and um, yeah, pretty happy. So next steps are running oil in water lines. For the turbo, run that, uh, install my blow valve, finish the intercooler piping, and uh, order mega squirt, and we'll be good. So uh, it's going good, it's going well. No, no serious problems so far. Yep. So uh, see what else we can get done today. All right, guys, that's all I got for this video. I'm sorry, it might have been a little short. I have no idea how much we filmed or how much we didn't film, but uh, I just want to make a little update on the Miata video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys uh, subscribe and like and comment and give me tips and advice on my Turbo Miata build. Uh, this is my first car I'm building and uh, trying to do it right the first time. Trying not to do any cheap parts, trying not to ghetto anything, even though I did just cut my engine bay, but it's all fabrication. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know, drop me a comment. I always try to respond to the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys say. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more Miata videos, because it's coming. It's moving along, slowly but surely. She will be back on the road. Maybe next week for the Miata meet, but not not boosted. But uh, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Later.